The family of a Nigerian who was based in South Africa has petitioned the Nigerians in Diaspora Commission, NIDCOM, over the death of a 40-year-old Abudu Timitokwe, who was killed by a yet-to-be-identified assailant in Johannesburg. In the petition signed by a brother to the deceased, uh, Abudu Mustafa, the family implored the commission to investigate the case and bring the culprits to justice. He said his brother, Adidayo, was assassinated in cold blood by an unknown gunman and was rushed to Hillbrow Community Health Care Centre by some eyewitnesses where he was pronounced dead. The disease, a native of Ijebode, Ogun State, Nigeria, was married with three children and left behind five siblings who are all based here in Nigeria. And for more on this, we are joined by a brother to the deceased, uh, Abudu Mustafa. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you for having me. Great. You, you said your brother was assassinated in cold blood by a known gunman. Um, was he, you know, in any kind of trouble prior to this? Are you aware of any incident or any uh, issues he might have been in before this? No, none. He was not involved in any issue prior to his being assassinated, to the best of my knowledge. Okay, and of course, uh, the, the matter has been handed over to the police in Johannesburg. What, what are they currently doing about your brother's death? Yeah, the police were informed after the shooting incident close to his um, residence in Delva, South Africa, Johannesburg. Um, they came in um, and they, I mean, he was taken to a hospital. Um, and the, the, the body was with them over the night where they said they carried out um, some forensic um, analysis on his, on his body before the body was released um, to his friends where he was buried according to Islamic rights the next day. And ever since, we've not heard anything from the, from the police. Okay, and, and, and of course, so your family is currently asking the Nigerians in Diaspora Commission to step in. Has there been any response yet? And what do you hope that they can achieve if, if they actually do step into this matter? Yeah, we wrote a petition to the Nigerian Diaspora Commission. It was submitted to the office of the chairman, Honorable Abike Dabiri. A couple of days after, we got a response from the legal team um, that the uh, petition has been received. And the legal team has um, forwarded it to the Nigeria High Commission in South Africa to carry forward an editorial investigation, which we're still waiting for the outcome of that. But um, um, all, all in all, um, we're hoping the, Nigerian, the Nigerians in Diaspora Commission will be able to put pressure on the Nigeria High Commission and the police um, in South Africa to be able to get to the roots of this matter on the killing of a Nigerian who was living in South Africa with no criminal um, cases on his head. And I mean, to be gone down in cold, in cold blood is um, an aberration and um, a violation of his human rights. I mean, his life should not be left to be lost like that. That's why we are, I mean, we are on this mission to get justice to be served. Okay, uh, are there any clues whatsoever as to what may have happened? And the eyewitnesses who took him to the hospital, uh, did, have they said anything? Have you spoken to any of them? Is there anything that uh, you can hold on to for, uh, in, in the interim? Yeah, not quite, because I live in Nigeria, and uh, his other siblings are all in Nigeria. He lives and works there. So I only spoke to friends. And since it's a police matter, I mean, I, mean, I don't want to pronounce anything that I don't have concrete evidence on, on hers, whereby I would be held liable for my, for, for my pronunciation. But all we heard was, was that a gunman shot at him twice directly to his chest, according to the eyewitnesses that, did, that gave me their first-hand um, um, witness. You know? And so I don't, I don't have any concrete evidence, but we have evidences and we have witnesses that said he was shot directly to his chest. That means it was, it was an assassination. Uh, his wife and kids, which were, which were mentioned in the story, are they here in Nigeria or in South Africa? They are all here in Nigeria. Okay, and um, you know, how are they dealing with this uh, so far? Um, it's, very, it's a very painful loss being a breadwinner of a family of three kids. All, all girls, the first child is in the university, the others are in, um, are in schools in Lagos. You know, it's very difficult, it's a very difficult and trying time for them. I just hope Hala will give them the fortitude to bear the loss. Likewise, the other five siblings. 
Okay, and uh, also just before we go, tell us a little bit about your brother and what, what was he doing in uh, South Africa prior to this very sad incident? Yeah, my brother is um, 40 years, he was born, he was, he's 40 years of age, um, he will have been 41, 23rd of April 2021. Um, he, he, was in, he was a security consultant to a, sec to a private, security, to private security company. I spoke to him a, a day before then, so he's not as if he was sick or he, he had any mental issue or any unforeseen um, circumstances whereby he was under, I mean, being haunted by any unknown person. He lived his life like a responsible citizen of the of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in South Africa. So I don't I don't know why I and mean, where this came from. It's, it's an absolute shock from us. Right. We hope that the uh, police in South Africa uh, take uh, action as quickly as possible. And of course, the Nigerian in the Diaspora Commission, NITCOM, you know, can also uh, maybe put some pressure on them until justice is uh, served to uh, for your brother and, of course, for your family. Thank you so much for speaking with us, uh, Mustafa. Uh, we, of course, we look forward to speaking with you again when there is any other um, news concerning this. Uh, thank you for having me. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.